once mentioned that a large population in the world is not healthy which they could be simply because we have not understood some simple things and these simple things can be very easily thought and decimated in the world and shared with the rest of the people uh, can you throw some more light on what these th- simple things are which can make us healthier healthy oh. there was a young physician once he went to his senior colleague and said uh, he had some problem with a certain diagnosis of a patient then the senior colleague said oh nerves and vomiting is it hmm yes but i don't uh, find any medical reason for him to be having nerves and vomiting so the senior colleague suggested you ask him if he is playing golf if he is playing you tell him to stop if he says i am not playing ask him to play he'll become okay health is like that really <laughs> some people are overworked and they have ill health most people are underworked and they have ill health today if you lived here on this planet 200 years ago physically you would be doing at least 20 times more activity than what you're doing right now physically definitely isn't it you would have walked to this place you would have done everything with your hands you would be doing minimum 20 times more activity i think i'm wrong 100 times probably some of you 250 times <laughs> so if you were doing that much activity then i would have told you take a break take some rest now the body has not been used only by using this body you can keep it well when you say health you're talking about physical health you must use this body the more you use it the better it gets one of the simplest things about health is just to use the body if you sufficiently use the body body is everything to create health for itself does it mean to say that's the only thing nothing else will happen to me i'll be perfect i would say if we physically used our body as much as we should i would say 80% of the ailments on this planet would just disappear 80% the remaining 20% in that another 10% is because of the type of foods that people are eating the change of food habit another 10% would disappear that means only 10% ailment would remain that has happened because of variety of reasons one is karmic another could be atmospheric and there are other aspects that could have happened in the system which can be looked at out of all the sick people if 90% of them become healthy just by using the body and eating the right food 10% could be easily handled but now the volume of ailment is so big because we don't eat properly or we eat very properly and we don't use the body properly <laughs> so apart from this there are other aspects to life to put it very simply as you exercise your body if you just do this a thousand times a day 
Just do like this thousand times a day. And after one month, just see how well your hand will work. Nothing else, just sit here and just do this thousand times a day. After thirty days, you'll find your hand works wonderfully well. If you do that with your brains, It will work wonderfully well in a month's time. If you do this with your heart, it will work wonderfully well. If you do that with your life energies, it will work wonderfully well. When all these things work well, that's health. Health is not something that you invent. Health is not your idea. Health is life happening well. The life process is happening well, that's health. It's not your idea or my idea. We are acting as if health is our idea, as if we created health. We didn't create health. If at all, if we have created health, if, we, if at all we have created anything, we have created ill health. We have not created health. Health is life's way. If you allow life to function fully, it is healthy. So, you just have to use your body, use your head and use your energies. If these three things are well exercised and balanced, you will be healthy. So, because right now we are enjoying the gadgets, but if you build activity into your life, physical, mental and energy. All these things if you build in, health will come. Your body is working well, your mind is working well and your energy is supporting the two, making sure nothing goes wrong, that's health. Life is happening in full flow, that's health. Health is not an idea, it is not a medical idea. The medical fraternity and the medical knowledge has become more and more essential because we have built in very unhealthy lifestyles. Never before in the world medicine had the kind of importance as it is having today. Simply because we are becoming more and more sedentary, so we are becoming more and more unhealthy. We are living longer, maybe, that's because of excessive attention and you know, you can live on tubes for twenty years. Otherwise, nature has its own way of, uh, you know, natural selection. Do you know what that means? Yes, those… the life that is fit, which will be selected to live, that is not fit, which goes on. But today we've made life in a different way. Not that we can go back to those old ways anymore, we cannot. But that doesn't mean we have to become sixty when we're twenty. A lot of twenty-year-olds today cannot perform as much activity as sixty-year-olds used to do hundred years ago. It's a fact. Isn't it so? Hundred years ago, what a sixty-year-old person was doing, physical activity, that much activity, a twenty-year-old cannot do it today. That means we are just weakening humanity. A degenerate humanity, we will become over a period of time. So, you must use it.